Good morning, fishing freaks. Let me show you a little something here. See that? That right there is shad spawning. You have to be out early to see that or it has to be darker conditions like we have here. Got this nice overcast morning. The shad spawn at night. That means there's gonna be a lot of fish feeding on them in the shallows. Now I came out here yesterday, uh, wasn't this early, but I noticed that a lot of the shad balls were broken up and there was a lot of fish feeding on them. There were all kinds of species. So. Since the white bass were such an issue, they kept latching onto my lures, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a catch and cook. Ocean Spoon Girl has never had white bass before, and she was asking me to bring home some fish, so I thought I would do that husbandly favor and bring her home some fish and have a little fun in the process. So let's get out on the water while these shad are still doing their things, and the bass are up there in the shallows doing their thing. This is a really stormy day. Looks like there's a bad thunderstorm rolling in here. So probably not gonna be able to fish for too long, but I think the fish should be really biting. Well, that's when you know it's a windy day. There's a big school of white bass right off this point right here. You can actually see some feeding on this hump that just came up. Oh, there he is. Just got one right behind the boat. Oh yeah, they're jumping over here. Okay, here's one. They need to be 10 inches to keep. Oh my gosh, look how many fish are down there. String this guy up. That's not gonna keep. There we go, there's one. Not big enough. That's just solid right there. This little baby right here, that's gonna get creamed. Fish on the crank. There's a tasty one. Okay, let's get busy. There he is, right there, skinny one, male. Yeah, he keep, but he's small. I want a fatty. I think this is a large mouth. Nope, it's a good white bass. Good one. There's the one we want. Oh, nope, nope, don't get out. Oh, there he is. I used to do this all the time when I was a kid on this lake, except I used to stand on the shoreline right over there. All right, we got ourselves a nice little stringer going. Oh, right there. Oh, it's a large mouth. Oh, it's a large mouth. The old large mouth. They like to eat the shad too. You're not going to the frying pan, buddy. Don't worry, I'll give you a sniff though. Love you guys. You smell the best. Oh, right there. Oh my gosh. That one crushed it. Yes. Fate. Looking like we're gonna have a pretty tasty little dinner here. Mmm. Another large mouth. Can't keep you, but I'll smell you. Mm. Oh, oh, another largemouth. Dang, I thought that was gonna be our last white bass. Oh, man, that's a big fish. I don't know what that is, but, oh man, it's got me hung in something. And that one hit it and just like pulled back hard. Oh, it broke me off. Dang, that was a big one. Probably a four or five pound largemouth. Might have our last one here. Oh, wait a second, is that a crappie? It is a crappie. Oh, yes, sir. 
Man, there is nothing better than a crappie. Yep, he's 10 inches. Okay, so this right here is what we ended up with. Not bad for going out for a few hours. I'm gonna go clean these. I'm gonna take them home to Ocean Spoon Girl, and then we are going to get on the cooking part. And I'm gonna let her do that, because she's the pro. Now it's time to fillet our fishes. Now let's just have a look for a second here. Remember what I talked about this morning? Them feeding up on those shad? Check this out. Look at that beautiful bean footage. One in the gut right there. And these two just fell out. It's the circle of life. It would suck to be a shad. Let me know what's worse in the comments. To be a shad or to be a shrimp? Both are pretty bad. Well, I reckon that's a nice little bag of fillets right there. I'm gonna bring that home to OSG right now. Maybe even Winston will get a little bit. I don't know. He's been a good boy today. Yeah, I might give you a fish if you're good. Okay, we got Ocean Spoon Girl in the kitchen. What is going on, babe? Gonna make some doing? fish tacos. Fish tacos. Yeah. Sounds delish. So you got some some guac going on right here. Mm-hmm. Fresh guac. You don't buy the guac here. You make it. This is some cilantro. Oh, who's that? Oh. Do we have guests? Not that I know. Oh, well, I forgot to tell you. I invited everyone from YouTube oh, to the party. Am I, am I meeting everybody? Yeah, all you guys are gonna eat tonight. All right, Winston, let's go see who it is. Hey, how's it going, man? So, babe, have you ever had uh, white bass before? I have not. I don't think I've even eaten bass. I know you were asking me to bring home some more fish, and you'd never had the white bass, so I thought it'd be a... Uh, a fun little tasty treat. Well, I like white fish. So most of my recipes are white fish unless it's salmon. Okay, so. there's there's one in here and I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. The crappie is arguably arguably the best eating freshwater fish there is. So I want that one in my taco, please. I must say, Ocean Spoon Girl makes the best guac I've ever had. The fresh ingredients, the way she squeezes the limes in there, I don't know, but it's definitely the best I've ever had. Yours takes the cake, babe. Oh, I feel so honored. It takes the avocado. Huh, get it. Huh. <laughs> it takes yeah. the avocado. Yeah. You know what Stephanie's uh, slogan is? is of a good life, like so avocado. Always say, of a good day. I always say of a good day when she leaves. But I say, I'd rather have you have a good life and a good day. Since coming in here, he's like, what's going on in this cooler? We got All some right. fish in here. We got some fish. Oh, 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 oh. Already skinned. Doesn't Look at that. smell good, huh? No messes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I caught some bass too, but uh, I didn't want to include those. I didn't want to eat the bass. You, you think you've spotted it yet? This one looks kind of pale. Maybe this I one. Know, I know which one the crappies are. How many crappies are there? There's only one crappie. There's only one. There's only one golden crappie in there. This one? Nope. This one? It's the purest looking meat in there. This one? Yeah, that one. There's actually, well, you yeah, know, there's two, two in there. That right there is a tasty treat. Guarantee you eat that raw sushi style. You'd be going like, oh man, that's delicious. Spot the crappie. Is it this one? Uh, nope. No. See that red stuff? That's what makes it taste a little gamey. They all have red. Well, most of them do. The crappies don't, because they're so fresh. I bet everyone on YouTube wants you to take a bite of this raw right now. Mm-mm. Not gonna do it? Mm-mm. It's done with all the other stuff. Uh, all right, what are we putting on here? All right, this is just a lemon pepper. Pretty easy. It's more salty than it's peppery, so I'm just gonna go back over it with a lot of black pepper. What kind of tacos are we doing? Soft tacos? We can do soft tacos. We know we normally do soft tacos, we don't do crunchy tacos. Let me know in the comments. Soft tacos or crunchy tacos? Keep in mind these are fish tacos. I definitely like flour. Uh, Stephanie can't really have uh, most 
flour tortillas because she's allergic to soy, which is in like every tortilla almost. Yeah, I still have yet to find a tortilla that doesn't have soy. Let us know in the comments, do you know of any soy-free tortillas? Uh, pretty hard to find them where we are here in Texas, but um, we need some. So Stephanie can chow down on her tortillas because <laughs> she loves them. Mm. Alrighty. Going in the oven. Going in the oven. Now remember, you're the fish checker. I am. These are not going to take very long because they're small. They'll get crispy quick. So you got to keep an eye on them. Guess what time it is, Winston? It's guac time, baby. I'm notorious for zesting off my nails. You zested off your nails before? No, I haven't zested off my nails. Even worse, I've zested off my finger. Like, look at these. You see that? Oh, you got zesting scars? <laughs> I've got zesting scars. What'd you say what kind of pepper that was? This is a serrano pepper. So some people take the seeds out. Don't you normally put jalapenos in there? No, I always do serranos. Mm. But each serrano is different, so you might have one that's not very spicy and you have another one that's super spicy. So if you don't like a whole lot of spice but you like the taste, take the seeds out. I guess the question is, uh, Who's gonna try that Serrano raw? Well, I've got another one in the refrigerator for you. No, I'm not eating the whole one. No. Screw that, no. Okay, I dare you to eat this. You dare me to eat that? I feel like that's not that bad. I don't want the seeds. The seeds are gonna be killer. Exactly. <laughs> only, Make them do it, guys. Only if I can drink a cold adult beverage right after it. Okay. This is a Serrano. It's got the seeds in there. We're gonna see how spicy this bad boy is. Like. I wonder how, what this is on the Scovalls. Oh, hey, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Don't think so. Oh, God, I got a seed. Oh, you didn't even get past one seed. <sighs> Holy cow. <coughs> That's why he likes my guac so much. Whew. Oh, man, those seeds. That's no joke. Mm hmm. Oh. Ah, I'd give Winston one as a, as a joke, but that's me. That'd probably be like dog abuse or something. Oh my gosh, I'm drooling. <laughs> All right, I need a cold one now. You dying over there? By the way, guys, tonight I'm doing a podcast talking about um, various outdoor things. I'm also going to be talking about um, the whole. Uh, YouTube shake up. Uh, so if you're interested in hearing that, link's gonna be below for the podcast. You can hear my partner, me and JT. Clear out your sinuses. Talk about it. I'm cleared out. I am drooling right now. My mouth is on fire. So anyway, if you want to hear <laughs> us talk about uh, outdoor stuff, shoot the bull, and talk about the um, the YouTube shake up, you tune in. Link down below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, that looks pretty good. Oh, Winston's hungry. Oh. <laughs> um, excuse me, Winston. Are you hungry? Can you sit? Can you be a good boy and shake? Oh, yes. Hello. Can you lay down? Down. Down. No. That's shake. Down. Lay down. 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 Oh, that's a good boy, Winnie Pooh. Good boy. You deserve a little piece of fish. Okay, Winnie Pooh. Since you've been such a good boy this week, you get a little piece of fish. That's a good boy. Been pretty good. I don't think he's got a problem with it. <sighs> it's the the moment we've all been waiting for. He's ready to chow down. All right, now I think it's proper that we we try the fish by itself. All right, that's first. fair enough. Okay, so uh, why don't you get the first bite? It's not too hot. This is your first time trying white bass. Is Good. this the white bass one? Uh, 
I kind of want to go for this one. This one looks good. Dang, I can't tell now that they have. Yeah, the crop will be more tender. But just, just, just get in there. Just go for it. Oh, it's so tender, guys. It's falling apart. Yeah, it's so fresh. All right. Got some bones. <laughs> Stabbed me in the tongue. <laughs> okay, so first impression, <laughs> not good because of the bone. My apologies. That's my bad on the cleaning. You shouldn't have bones. It tastes good though. Okay. Why don't you try a more safe bite? Okay. Maybe we'll try this one. It's been like soaking in its own juices. There was only olive oil in here, but it tastes pretty buttery. Well, butter makes everything better. Mmm. That one's pretty good. It's really lean. Yeah. So white bass, not too bad? Not too bad. Okay. The good thing is they're very plentiful in the lake. I've eaten a ton of these in my lifetime, but might as well just try a bite right now. For some reason, Lake Fork just got a bunch of them after uh, they were never in there uh, before. And then all of a sudden they got them and uh, they just grew to a massive population. So I used to eat them all the time and they were really good. That easy to catch. Really good. That's really good by itself. It's gonna be awesome in a taco. This is a very simple recipe. Just a little, uh, was it just lemon pepper? It was just lemon pepper and black pepper with olive oil with fish. And that's it. And then this was homemade guac. So this had tomatoes, onion, cilantro, mm -hmm. avocado. And it is delicious. Lime zest lime juice, and serrano pepper. So this is black bean, cilantro, onion, and red bell pepper. This is Stephanie approved health-wise. It is. So all is good, and there you go. There we go. That is a white bass, slash maybe a crappie or two in there. Mm. <laughs> Thumbs up. Good. Well, I would have to say this is probably the perfect outdoorsman fisherman day, just going out on the water catching fish, bringing them home to the wife and the bulldog, <laughs> and just having a, a delicious meal. I, I just, I don't know how it can get any better, guys. If you'd like to uh, see more of uh, the catch and cook type stuff, let me know in the comments. I love eating fish. I don't often show when I bring them home, but uh, uh, do a lot. I will if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Because apparently they're healthy, they're good for you. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not from a radioactive lake, you're good. Thank you guys for tuning in to this delicious episode of LFG Fishing TV featuring Ocean Spoon Girl and Winston. Thank you, honey, for cooking dinner. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more of this stuff, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see other uh, stuff about what I was using and uh, rods and all that, links in the description. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to get to chow down on these fish tacos. I'll see you later. <laughs>